hold out just a little bit longer. God is about to remove you from that situation that you are in right now. Can I get an abracadabra? Nah, I was just feeling the Holy Spirit because I'm like, yo, this is strong. I've been seeing this a lot lately. I don't know. I do know, actually, I really know deep down. It, and that's important thing to realize when you know something, it's in, it's important to, to admit it out loud. That way you can pass this test. And guess what? You have passed it, yo. I don't know. My mom said I should have been a pastor. She was like a Christian woman for real. Because look, whatever that situation you're in, whatever it is that's been going on, whatever that's been like, I don't know, karmatic cycles that you've been repeating. That's what I'm getting. Because if you resonate with this channel, yeah, for real. You've been repeating karmatic cycles. And it's cool because you've been learning lessons because that's why you've been learning them so early on because you were meant to. You were meant to learn this really early on because you were meant to tell a story. You're going to be writing autobiographies. People are going to be doing talk shows and interviews on you because your message will be heard. I'm telling you, it's so important. You watching this video, you went through the ringer. Or matter of fact, you just have an interesting mindset. You went through the ringer in another realm and you have that energy carried on into this realm. God's like, you're meant to share that story. You're meant to tell millions of people about your experiences because people love this stuff. People feed in it. You are meant to. People need to hear this because the world is moving in a different direction. We are now releasing the old. I would say we've been in this Lucifer realm. I'm being real. I ain't gonna even gonna lie to y'all. We've been in Lucifer realm. This has been Lucifer's church because they did say in the Bible, devil was cast down or from heaven. What do you think that is? Here. Literally, we've been living on hell. This has been hell the entire time. And I don't want to interrupt your experiences because nobody wants to be, right, I've been living on hell. No. Nah, it's cool because that's in the past. You don't got to think like that no more. So, so, so relax. I know, right? I know, right? We've been living on hell. Oh, man, what does that mean? Yeah, but I know. Why you think things in the world has always been so interesting? You've been feeling it because we've been living in hell. And that's why you've been going through a struggle from so early on. But God said no more. God said you will experience rich, fulfilled, abundant days for the rest of your days. And guess what? Your days is pretty long because you're pretty immortal. Ooh, can I get a abracadabra? Because, yeah, you watching this video, you are freaking immortal. Believe it or not. But it is what it is. So. You just pull your energy away from these things that have been taught embedded in you because that's been draining you. Now, I guarantee that old way is done. I know, right? I'll be like, uh, and my mom took me to church many a times when she had me. And then my foster parents took me to church many a times, too. So I had plenty of chances to hear their introspective, like their point of view. And I heard it. And it was always just like, hey, now I show the light. And yeah, pass that tilt around. Speaking of tilt, yo, show some love, yo, with the cash app. Yo, I appreciate you guys. You guys are so awesome because I'm sure you got it like that. Ka-ching. Because you watching this video, you are rich and wealthy. And by you showing that is you telling that. And guess what? Likes attract. Likes attract. So when you yield wealth, guess what? You get wealth. And that is how rich get richer and poor get poor. You focus on what you got, which is riches. And you manifest that. Don't let people put poor in your mindset. That's why God's like, I'm taking you away from that struggle. I had to take you away from those perspectives. I had to pull away those layers like the onion that was holding you back from shining. Guess what? You are shining. You are meant to shine. And you're going to shine for many eons. I mean, I don't mean eons like in literal, but you're going to shine forever because energy never dies. But you're going to shine for a long time, period. But you guys get what I'm saying, right? Now you are meant to walk in that faith. So now you're supposed to be walking with the most absolute belief. And that's knowing. So when you walk down, you know who you are. You don't celebrate your birthday because you think you're getting older. You celebrate your birthday because you celebrating it of being here and you getting younger. That is how energy works. But see, we weren't using our energy to its capabilities or to its correct functions, to be honest with you. We weren't taught 
about energy. But guess what? I'm telling you, you are antimatter, dark matter, and dark energy, which is energy, which is constant growth, which means you either go at this or you go at that. You means you either go up or you go down, which is why lights will always attract, which is why you focus on getting older, you get older. You focus on getting younger, you get younger. So that's why, guys, like I'm pulling those inner perspective. I'm pulling those, let's say, I'm pulling those beliefs from you. That's why the veil is released. We in Aquarius. We just got done with a Pisces full moon. Shit, we in a Mercury retrograde. Wait until this Mercury retrograde is over. You're going to see a lot of things happen in your life. I know, right? Why did a Mercury retrograde have to happen? I know, right? These shits always mess up everything. But it means everything is out of what? Opposite. It means that it's not in its right Right function means so if things are supposed to be coming through for you, Mercury retrograde is going to mess that up. If communication is is wonky, it's because it's a Mercury retrograde. Always check. If you feel like things are popping off, Mercury retrograde. Always go and see if it's a Mercury retrograde because that lets you know that you need to relax and chill and go into your self-discovery and your healing state. Because that is when you get the most information. That is when the high, the most high God speaks to you. You see what I'm saying? So that is the time that you're supposed to go and and heed the messages. You feel me? So this is telling you right now, God is pulling you away from that. These people, it don't matter how looking physical. God is pulling you away. You now have the go. That means everything is coming in your favor. That means all the opportunities. means a lot of things are going to be happening. The miracles is now in your path. So congratulations, yo. Matter of fact, yo, if you like this video, hit that like button. And don't forget to also subscribe to my future uploads. Okay, guys? Because you do not want to miss these messages. There's a lot going on. It's a blackout. This blackout is because there's a high amount of energy. Ion particles is coming to So dark matter, right? This is basically what it is. Dark matter that's literally pouring into the planet and it's causing things to shift. It's causing electronics. It's causing electricity. It's causing thunder in the daytime. Shit, even when you go outside at nighttime, it's freaking daytime. Literally, I go outside, it's daytime. It looks like there's light everywhere. Where do they do that at? Because we're in a whole different space now. But you guys are going to start seeing now. As, as we maneuver, I'm going to start revealing more because... We're not supposed to give anything too soon ahead of its time. I feel because there's a lot of narcissistic inner Decepticons that's watching this channel that's trying to get information. And you really can't give them any more than they've been, you know, prying for anyway. That's all I'm going to say. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, man. But, yo, God's saying he's pulling you away. God's saying you are cool. God's saying all that had to happen for a reason. God is like, yo, you were in that experience because it was a test you had to learn. Don't think that God wasn't at your beck and call that God didn't love you, that God wasn't always watching you. Yes, that's why God did it, because God needed you to be at a certain level to where now you can walk with absolute knowing and faith. You're not weak minded. When you're comfortable, you get weak minded. When you're not comfortable, you go through and stretch and you have to level up. There's no need. There's no time. There's no there's not the moment to be comfortable. Just like I said, man, you sleep when you're dead. You feel me? always bread. You feel me? 24-7, 365. You feel me? That's just how it is because you know what I'm saying? Money is energy. And now that God is pouring into the energy, God is pouring into the money. Amen. Some people, they just get money. They don't even have energy. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't mean that God loves you. All that meant was that you're meant for great because just like the bamboo, it takes time to yield and mold. So God was forming your destiny while everything was in your plan that's leading up to your destiny. So everything that happened, the Logan Pauls, all that, all that happened to lead up to you. I know, right? So tap yourself on the back, you know what I'm saying? Show yourself some mad love because everything was leading up to you. You are all what it's been about this entire time. <sighs> Matter of fact, we're going to do a breath, 21 deep meditation. We're going to breathe this in. Yeah, it's all been about you this entire time. I know everything leading up. So don't think that God has something much bigger out in store for you. 
So you know, you see these people get millions? Nah, you get billions, trillions, and that's chump change. The world already been maneuvering on trains for a while. It's just that the mindsets of the average has been at such a low, low poverty mindset that they've been thinking, oh man, millions is a lot of money. No, it's not. That's why the millionaires go broke hella quick. But you know a person that got $500 million, billion, they ain't going to go broke. They can spend money every day. They ain't going broke. It don't matter. They ain't, they ain't going broke. It's just what it is. They spend $100,000. Look at Jay-Z. He spend money every day. He ain't going broke. Same with Michael Jordan. He ain't going broke. Because, you know, you acquired a certain amount of money. That's all it's about. So when you get in the real brackets, when you when you start maneuvering with the real dogs, the dogs, you know what I'm saying, the nine, ten, ten bracket, then that, that is when you ain't going broke. But for right now, maneuver your assets with more uh, conscious relativity, meaning that if it's not serving a purpose, it's no point in wasting that investment there's no point in being a consumer when you can be a producer all right y'all so remember he's pulling you away you are great yo thank you guys for the ones who've been showing your love donations your cash at paypal thank you so much well i'm saying i'm saying love your way watch great things about to happen for you right now